Remember the guide video I put out on how to show your model without showing the VTube Studio menus? Yeah, forget about that. VTube Studio just released a brand new way that's much easier and causes less load on your CPU. Let me show you how to set up Sprout 2. First things first, this plugin is only for OBS Studio. So if you have Streamlabs Studio, well, you're out of luck. I highly recommend to go ahead and change over to OBS Studio. It's way better anyway. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and head to the installer link for the Sprout plugin for OBS Studio. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Once you have that installed, let's head over to VTube Studio. I go ahead and bring up your VTube Studio window, hit the cogwheel, and go ahead and select the camera. From here, you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see the virtual webcam configuration. Go ahead and click this right here, activate Sprout 2. Now that we selected Sprite 2, we need to go ahead and make sure that our model is going to allow transparency. Double click to bring up your menu and go ahead and head to the background scenes. From here, scroll all the way down until you get to color picker and go ahead and select that. No matter what, make sure whatever color that you have set, that transparent and capture is ticked. Now let's head to OBS Studio to finish setting up. Now we're going to go ahead and add a new source. Click the plus button and select the Sprout 2 capture. This should be brand new since you just added the plugin. Go ahead and click on the capture and hit OK. Now you're going to see that it's not going to give you a transparent background. So make sure you go to composite mode and select default. And just like that, you're all set up and ready to go. Let me show you really quick that it's not bringing up the menus anymore. You can see my top corner that I'm capturing VTube Studio. So if I double click to bring up the menu, it's no longer showing in OBS Studio. This method is highly preferable as it reduces the CPU usage and also makes it so the VTube Studio menus no longer show on stream. Thank you so much for tuning in and please share this guide around as I know a ton of other VTubers could definitely use it. If this guide helped you, make sure to leave a comment and thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.